Hello everybody, it's me Pred. Welcome back to Persona 2. And we are about to go to the Zodiac and find out what's going on there. That is not the Zodiac, that is. Let's check it out. Alright. Uh, so we're not starting with any uh, story cutscene or anything. We are thrown into the place and... Let's see, let's find out what's going on here. Okay, that is, I guess, uh, like the entrance. Let's go inside. Oh, it's a disco. Noriko, sister, I had a feeling you would be here. Come on, let's go back together. Ginkgo, Noriko's here too? Looks like she still hasn't given up on Ana Yushizaka. Sister, no, you can't keep that up, or it will ruin your health even worse, and then you will never run again. Oh, that's her. I, I, uh, I knew we would meet her. Oh, she likes, uh, she likes blue. That's Anna Yoshizaka, a dropout from Seven Sisters High, currently dissolute, but she was star. <laughs> she was star of the track team. There's a typo, I guess, but she was the star or a star of the track team before her accident. Sister, am I that much of an annoyance to you? You idiot. Oh, idiot. All the other people are like, oh, what's going on? Yukino, don't do this. Trying to be something you're not is not cool. Who are you? Me? I'm Yukini Yukini. <laughs> I'm Yukino Mayuzumi, just an apprentice photographer. And why are you getting in my business? Take a hike, will you? You should take the advice people give you. You're the one who'll regret it if you don't. Wow, that's stupid. Wow, Anna is going through puberty. I'm surprised you're not getting angry. It wouldn't change anything. I hate annoyances like this. I wish I had a real nice uh, <clears throat> woman's voice because uh, there's so many women here that uh, I have to read text of. Wow, wow, what's with the preaching in our place? You think you're hot shit or something? Oh, it's one of those damn cuss high students. Oh, it's uh, three of them. You mopes are seven students, huh? Better head straight home after school or your scary principal's gonna get ya. Ikichi. That's enough, everyone. I think we all need to be shinier, happier people here. You don't want to make me mad, do you? M michaels son? What's wrong? Who, who gives a damn about you anymore? No one listened to you. You're not our boss no more. What? You want to repeat that, you worthless punk? We got a new leader. Oh, who might that be? And he's way, way stronger than any boss. All your cronies at Kasai have switched sides for a new leader. Sugimoto-san. Sugimoto? You mean Hiroki Sugimoto? He's the leader at Kas High? Quit joking around. Oh, what the hell? Ah, uh, help me. Oh, wow. Ekichi's uh, going crazy here. What was that about the new leader being stronger than any boss? Think you can say that again? Uh, it's the rumor going around. I just heard everyone say that Kas High's new leader is stronger than the boss. So there's a new head honcho right under the old one's nose? Doesn't that sound a little sudden? Sounds like the result of another rumor. Maybe that's uh, maybe that Sugimoto's in league with the Joker too. It's sure possible. There is no way he could take over an entire school that quick without something up his sleeve. By the way, I'm sure you know the rumor about Seven's emblem being cursed. 
From what I understand, that rumor started at Cus High. Do you know anything about it? We spread that rumor cause the leader told us to. He said he would throw mud on Seven's reputation cause he hated him. What's up with that? Why would this rocky guy have such a grudge against our school? You'll just has to uh, we will just have to ask him in person. Hey, where is he rocky now? He's he's here at the secret lounge further in. Well, it's not a secret anymore. A secret lounge? I'll smack the smile of that cocky cocky bastard's face. You right. You go ahead, boy. Who's your horses there, Andy Boss? Hey, was there a girl? Hey, was there a girl called Cozy here? She was investigating the emblem curse rumor too. I don't know, no Cozy. Though there was this girl, said her name was Miyabi Hanakuji, who went to see our leader. What? Did you just say Miyabi Hanakuji? Hanakuji-san went to see Hiroki? I gotta go. Okay. Wait, Ikichi-kun. It's too dangerous to go alone. She has hearts on her tits. That's interesting. The Andy Boss took off by himself. Well, Andy Boss aside, we can't turn our backs on Cozy. We should go after him. All right, that was interesting. So something's going on here. There is a, a new player in town called uh, what was his name? Uh, the new Andy Boss spreading rumors. And let's talk to these people here. He's an employee. Try not to cause any trouble here. Ever since Cus High students started coming around, this place has gone to the dogs. All right, that's her young woman. I've been hearing people talk about Cus High's new leader too, huh? He's here now. That reminds me, a group of Cus High students headed upstairs a moment ago. I wonder if their new leader was with them. Oh, what a hint. What are you? Are you the DJ? No, he's an employee. I wonder if the rumor about the maze on the second floor is true. I hear there's good stuff up there, but I can't go on my own. Okay, I'm gonna come with us. Another young woman. I'd heard the rumors for a while now, but it looks like there actually is a secret lounge somewhere here. There must be some kind of special qualification to get in, right? I wonder if I'm eligible. I want to go so bad. You filthy... Okay, DJ is not here. Uh, can we get some... Should we talk to the other people? Uh, Ana Yoshizaka. That girl has the same look I did years ago, before I met Misako. Okay, so uh, she reminds her of her own uh, troubled youth, I guess. Hey, Chinyan. Why do you think Cozy asked us not to tell Andy Boss her real name? If she was going out with him like Andy Boss said, wouldn't she want him to know? Maybe he was lying about her. And that's uh, true. Lisa. Okay, his name is Sugimoto. Sugimoto is um, <clears throat> the uh, new player in town. The new Kasai boss. Sugimoto is actually kind of a shitty dude. He sucks up to the strong and stomps on the weak. Huh, why is he our leader? That's a good question. It's one of those rumors that's fucking up your head. If the rumor that the leader is stronger than the boss has spread far enough, Ikichi-kun might be in trouble. Yeah, he lost uh, all his uh, followers. So let's head up um, behind him and see what's up. Let's see if there is a secret lounge. What the hell is this? No, we don't. We don't know. Um. Oh, well, this looks. This looks pretty crazy. This looks pretty. Uh. Oh, random encounters. Maybe we get some um, new monsters here. That would be kind of uh, cool. And we do. What are those? Shaky... Oh, no. We know the shaky bastards. I remember talking about shaky bastards. Let's contact them. They are zombie DJs. Okay. Zombie DJ. What you looking at? I'm a killja. Okay, he's not the smartest. Uh, and we can't contact them? Did I just... See that correctly? Oh, what I looking at? I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I guess we have to kill them. 
which is a, a bummer. But uh, I guess that's how things are. And let's use our persona. Let's see if we find any. Um, oh no, not that. Let's see if we find any uh, weakness against them. Deal instant light to kill one enemy. Well, out of my RPG experience, um, undead as zombies are, even if they're DJs, are vulnerable to light. So let's try it on that shaky ass motherfucker. All right. Let's see. What else? What else do we have? We have mirage. Mirage. Deal all mighty illusion effect to all enemies. Maybe we can uh, weaken them with that. And then let's try something else. We have uh, fire damage. Isn't um. Well, deal nerve sleep alignment uh, to one enemy. I don't think the zombies have any working nerves. Uh, mm, electricity is no good against zombies. But I think fire has always worked in the history of uh, zombies. So let's start the first round of the battle and see how this goes. Okay, melee, melee is, I guess, normal. Let's see how light damage does. And they are uh, weak, too light. As I predicted. Uh, okay, she just farted in his face. Here goes. Let's see how fire does. If they're weak against fire. They're not. Oh, they are weak against fire. So we have two personas that can actually deal with them and um, exploit their weaknesses. And we got a pale hairband. I don't think we need that, but that is kind of cool. I always like getting items. Loot, loot, loot. That's actually, um, because I'm a big, oh, another random encounter, because I'm a big loot whore in RPGs, and that's like one thing that always put me off, like uh, in old school uh, JRPGs, because uh, the loot progression is very linear, and uh, most of the time it goes through like stores and vendors, and I never really liked that. Okay, we have, we know these guys here too, they're uh, harpies, have we fought harpies before? And let's try to contact them if that works. And we're gonna choose. What are harpies known for? Harpies are like mad ex wives. And so let's go with uh, Tetsuya because he has the looks um, that could intimidate any ex wife, I guess. Let's uh, persuade them. Ah, oh, Tetsuya tried force for per forceful persuasion, also known as a rape. Oh, you won't be getting anything from me. Well, I'll just take it. I'll just take what I need, because I am a man. Let's discuss manliness. Tetsuya spoke in detail about what it means to be a man. Stop screwing around. If you persist in making a fool of me, then... I will punish you. Please do. Okay, now that's just creepy. Well, well, you are the fucking harpy. But she's scared now. Could probably scare her away. Let's not go with Tetsuya. I don't think it's working out. Uh, let's go with the tough woman. Like, um... Who's the tough woman? Yuki. They're all tough. Oh, Yuki, confirm. Yuki, go ahead. Haughty wise. Uh, let's reason with them, because they are wise. I think I said last episode I would look at a guide, but I guess the first time we encounter monsters we can do it without a guide, just to get the uh, dialogue out of them. So Yukino says, your actions mean nothing unless done of your own free will. We have heard that before. You say some interesting things. Oh, is that... Is that the time already? It really does fly. If you're not careful, you'll be old before you know it. You be careful too. I don't mind. I'm wise. I don't need looks. Oh, quite confident, aren't we? Where does that come from? Oh, that's right. Isn't there a magazine that focuses on cute boys? What does that have to do with anything? Can you buy one for me by our next meeting? Act your age, lady. Please, please don't say that. Okay, but that worked really well, so we're gonna go with that again. 
There's a lot of people If like you that, are though. going to half-ass your way through life, just stay in bed. We uh -huh. have heard that before. I like you. You can have 10, ten temperance cards? You are a generous, generous harpy. Don't forget about me now. That was cool. Because I knew the harpy was wise and then I could act accordingly with with uh, how I reacted. That is pretty cool. And another random encounter. Let's see what we are going to face now. We have zombies. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Can we contact them now or are they still assholes? Yeah, no, they don't want to talk, which is okay, I guess. Can we talk to the other shaky bastard? The uh, zombie donkey. Acid. Uh. Nope, they don't want to talk. It's interesting that there are monsters that um, don't want to talk. So they are um, vulnerable to light. Let's go with the uh, uh, the junky bastard, and um, let's put fire on him. Do you have another fire spell? We do, and that should deal with it. That should deal with it. Earth damage is nothing we really need. Ah, let's go with that, just for fun Z's. Yeah, we just obliterated him. Now we go for the Blazing Burst. Please, oh, please use the Blazing Burst on Zombie. Oh! They're going for a double blazing burst. That was totally overkill. 91 points. And now we only have Mirage left. Which did something to him. And he's using Polinpa on me. Which is, um... Weird tentacles coming out of the ground. And we are, of course... Gonna fight and we're gonna use, um... Light damage. That should deal with them. And the rest we're just gonna do auto battle, because I think it's enough. Nice. Yes, you did. That was way more damage than we needed. You got some monies, and no items, and some experience points, and I don't really know where to go. Let's see if we fight some more new monsters. Those are not new monsters, but I thought some of those were actually my friends. They are Hangman's. Are those pixies? No, those are nightmares. Oh, we have a pack with the Zygzaphen. So maybe if we um, kill the flying monsters. And I th well, in my experience, flying monsters are almost always vulnerable vulnerable against fire. I mean I've played a lot of Dragon's Dogma in the last couple of weeks and I know that flying things are weak to fire. But we have air against earth so maybe that will do something. And uh, let's try something else. We have lightning. Lightning, I don't, I'm not sure, but let's use lightning anyway to see if maybe uh, there is a weakness. So first we go with a physical attack, which doesn't do anything at all. It just locks. Let's see what fire does. <clears throat> fire, they are not weak to fire, so my uh, Dragon Sagama knowledge did nothing here. Are they weak to earth? No, they're not, but that hurt him a bunch. What about lightning? No, they're not weak to lightning. But weak enough to die. And now you're attacking me. We have a pact. What the hell are you doing? Get away with your little thing. Let's contact them and ask them why are they... <clears throat> why are they... Uh, not um, delivering on their pacts. Let's go. They're forceful and joyful, so let's do impressions because I think that would make it happy. Well, I've never heard the impression of a fighter jet before. That was pretty impressive. He. He liked that. He's happy. Let's do it again. 
two impressions. Another fighter jet. There must be a whole squadron around. Uh, that was funny again. Okay, he wants to, me to do it again. Close your eyes. I will uh, gladly. Okay, that's just creepy. Oh, it's the motorcycle. Wait, you're in a pact with me. Now you remember. Oh, now you remember. Then I'll help you like I promised. What do you want me to do? Uh, give me an item. I'll give you this ultraviolet string. Keep me in your thoughts. Uh, no, I won't. You little creepy blob. All right, we are back. We have been here before. And uh, so let's see if we encounter any new monsters. No, there are shaky bastards that we can't contact. And let's just use the auto battle. Oh, look at that. Critical. Critical. They're at Earth. Are they vulnerable to Earth? No, they're not. The bat should have. Uh, they're like way over leveled. I have the feeling because we spent so much time at the at the school. Looks like you're all talk. Okay, you should be dead. No, they are. They don't talk much, but they. You got an energy drink. Oh, that's nice. That's great. Okay, there's the door. Did we come through this door? I think we did. So, I think we have seen all the monsters here. So, um, for the next part, before I move on, I'm gonna uh, flip out my little thing, <laughs> my guide, and uh, see where we will actually have to go. So, I think that's like quite a nice uh, method. Get to know the monsters, talk to them a bit, and then when the redundance of random encounters happen, I will use the guide to carry on. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.